Hello and welcome viewers, ID support interview question, public versus private IP addresses video 5. And in this video, we're going to give you a brief comparison between the public and the private IP addresses and what are the short answers you could provide if, if you ask by this question, if any recruiter, if any person in IT environment asks you that what are the public IP, what are the private IP, so what are the short answers that best describes you, what you want to say and what you have to say. So let's start with this table that I created for you in this video. And here you can pick the one line answers to address the situation or even understand the difference between the public and the private IP addresses. So the top one is the public IP address scope is global. So definitely it is the public IP address. It is designed for the global IP addressing needs. It's not scale on the private or some kind of local environment. It, it, it depends and it is totally designed and dedicated for the global addressing requirements. Then instead the private IP addresses is for the local to present network. So these private IP address even starts with your own router or with your ISP local area connection and in the private IP address you have the choice so you can use any IP address scheme providing the private IP address range and it's up to you then the public IP address used to communicate outside the network so this public IP address is crucial that is providing you access outside your network so all out the process where you're buying services from the ISP this is what you're actually buying, you're actually getting the public IP address to communicate outside your network because without that public IP address you can still communicate within your local network but you can communicate outside that network so this is the huge and the major difference between the public IP address and the private IP addresses are what? that the public IP address provides you access over the services just outside, just beyond your local area network. But in contrast, your private IP address is used throughout to communicate over the network. And most of the time in your offices, in your corporate sector, you have failed to get connected over the web server. But somehow you are able to connect with the local area machines, local area network. Why? Because you have the private IP and it is doing its all work. But when it comes to connect outside your network, your private IP address is not useful at the moment. You need public IP address to go beyond your network. Then, the most important concept here is the ISP, the Internet Service Provider controls your public IP address. So you have nothing to do with the public IP address, right? The ISP are responsible for providing you, for controlling you, and even track your public IP address that what sort of activity is going on with that public IP address. So your own intervention or if you think that you could change your public IP address, it's, it's not that case. There is no intervention of user here in the ISP era because you have your own router at your edge and you got wire cable sort of connection or wireless connection from the ISP so everything beyond your Azure router is not in your control and even in that router you can only change your private IP addresses scheme but you can change the public IP that you bought from the ISP but in the local network operator that creates the private IP address using network operating system so you generally see in, in the local environment, mostly in offices, in companies, or even the home, that the local network ad op operator can easily create, define, and change the private IP addresses throughout the machines. Then, this public IP address comes with a cost. So you have to pay for that public IP address. So it would be specific. But in the private IP address, they are free of cost, and you can even use in your packet tracer and different sort of softwares where you learn stuff related to networking so you can use any of the prioritized private IP without any fee without any sort of payment so that's why this private IP address are free to use then you have the public IP addresses that needs to be searched on the search engine like Google 
So is it simple here if you want to know your public IP and let me show you later after this table after this the, the discussion of this short answer I'm going to show you how you can find out your own public IP and how you can find out your own private IP so the public IP can only be determined and identified by using the Google search engine instead the private IP address can be located using the IP config command or even doing some GUI based steps to find out your private IP address then except private IP addresses the rest IP addresses are public so here's what if you just take out all the private IP addresses from the whole IP scheme so the remaining ones are called what the public IP addresses but here if we talk about the private IP addresses we have some defined and already set range that you should use when you're working when you have to deal with the private IP address stuff so this is the range you have as you can see on the screen it starts with 10.0.0.0 to 10.255.255.255 so this is the class A private IP range then you have the class B private IP range and then you have the class C private IP range so you should use these range these IPs within the private IP address requirement and excluding these addresses all the remaining IP address are called what the public IP address in the last you can see that the public IP address is like that you will find different numbers in this chart it's not like the range you are learning here and the range you mostly use in the private IP scheme like the 10 like 172 192 no you will get this sort of format in the public IP address but instead in the private IP address scheme you will find these same 192.168 or 172.16 or 10 because this is these are the defined range for IP addresses now after that let's move towards some practical stuff and determine how to how we can find out our public IP address and how we can check our private IP addresses so let's move to the practice labs now here I have in 10 machine and let me open the Microsoft Edge and there first I'm gonna open the google.com for you guys to show how you're gonna find your IP and how you can easily get the details of your public IP so first open the Google as it is the Microsoft Edge that's why it is navigating us to the Bing and if it's not opening no problem you can type here as well now here I'm gonna type what is my IP and press enter so it will search and provide you your public IP there you go 81.128.213.253 this is what this is the public IP of the practice labs so definitely it is some look like so different with the private IP addresses and this is used all the time when the practice labs environment when the practice lab devices wants to communicate with any web server so this would be the header this would be the address that is used for all searches for all network operation and when any packet reach to your ISP's premises then it change to your private IP address and then it comes to your device so whenever you need to connect with the web you need these public IP addresses and this is the front of your addresses and this goes throughout the world and then when the packet return when you got some output from any web server so on the edge of your ISP it got changed and it converted in your private IP address because it notes that which IP address is requested what so it converted and then it reached to the requested or desired private IP address so in the same way if you want to check your private IP address so first step is what simply type the CMD here and type what IP config and press enter so there you go 
you will get your reply your response in a second and if you are more GUI guy instead of the CMD so you can open the network and internet settings from this network icon and click to the Ethernet and scroll down a little then you're gonna find the network and cheering center on the right under the related settings go there and click to your adapter and simply click to the detail button and it will tell you your IP your subnet your physical address so this is not a topic right now so if you wanna know if you wanna investigate your private IP addresses so you have two ways the command line and the GUI steps that you need to perform and you will inform your private IP address and if you want to check your public IP address you need to go on web on Google and just type what's my IP so it will detect from where the requests came and then provide you the same address and this public IP address is what you have to pay for that IP address so you cannot use any public IP address without paying so you have to pay for those addresses and this is what and this is how the ISP earn money because they sell they offer those public IP addresses to the customer and also they provide access to such IP addresses and this is what we call the WAN connection and these are the settings they need to add they need to make in your router to provide you network access so that's it for this video and I hope you understand the concept along with the examples and if you want to ask anything about the video about the topic so you can mention in the comment box and like I said if you want to pursue and if you want to explore IT real world skill so must log on to jobskillshare.org so that's it for this video thanks for watching